Right now the cello, that's pretty nice. The sound comes out of those F holes. The thing about the cello is it's a low instrument. It's got a low C. That low C is very low. What I like to do with the cellos, I like to get a condenser if I can, and I like to put it underneath the F hole because low frequencies tend to drop and high frequencies tend to rise. I like to put it underneath the F hole, but you can't put it too close because you'll get scratchy rosin sounds from the bow on the strings. If you put it inside the hole, it's going to feed back because it's like putting your hand over a mic. That's what feeds it back. The thing they got on the bridge there, I have played the cello uh, with an Underwood pickup, which goes, you know, the bridge is like this, and it comes down, and then it's got a little slit here. The Underwood pickup goes in there. You know what I mean by the bridge, everybody? You see the bridge of the instrument? It holds the strings up, right? It's got that wooden thing. And the way it's shaped is like this, and then it comes down, and then there's a little section where there's an opening here, like this the pickups fit in those two little slots. That worked really good for me playing live. But if I'm going to record the cello, I'm going to get a good condenser mic, and I'm going to put it in front of the F hole, just far enough away from the rising sound of the bridge, and you'll be happy with it. That's about where you put the violin. That mic for the violin, it's about three to three and a half feet above where you're going to get the sound of the instrument. That's when the overtones develop. But also, if this were a violin section here, the mics would go, I would have two mics, I would put them like right here, maybe facing down, up maybe a little bit higher, so that the cardioid pattern would get the sound coming off of these instruments here and those instruments up there. Violin players would be almost this close together, and there's a reason for that. That's because violin players are two to a stand. So they would definitely be close. They want to be close because that whole section sound has to be a gel, you know. And you want the whole thing to come up as a section. You want the sound to be heard as a section. If I've got the mics here, you're hearing individual scratching and scraping. You know, you want them up here to get the blend of the instruments and the violinists know how to blend with each other. The uh, double bass thing, uh, you know, the sound doesn't come off the bridge. It comes out of those F holes. To get the mic, on, especially for the bass, get it under the F hole so the low frequencies can fall into it. Dynamical work.